I loved this game. It established a specific atmosphere, built a sense of dread, and threw some excellent red herrings at the player that never felt cheap. I was completely absorbed in this game until literally the last couple of minutes and the final reveal. I'm about to spoil the ending of Gone Home. As you play, you slowly discover that the central mystery of the game revolves around what happened to the protagonist's 17-year-old sister, Samantha, who turns out to be in a tempestuous relationship with another high school girl named Lonnie. The climax reveals that your sister, Samantha, has decided to accept her love for Lonnie and run away from home with her. And this is presented as a positive ending. Everything from the music to the lighting telegraphs that this is supposed to feel sweet. Now, when I grew up, a close family friend worked on a suicide prevention line. My family has had to work with Child Protective Services. One of my best friends is a police officer. You might already be realizing the problem I have with this ending. A high school girl running away from home is not a happy ending. Further, we know that her lover doesn't have a stable home, so we're forced to assume that they'll both be living on the streets, even assuming they can avoid Child Protective Services and or the police. Now think, just for a second, about what two underage girls might have to do to get food and shelter for themselves. And this is not me overthinking this. The entire game hints at possible supernatural explanations for the game's events, then rips all those away at the end for complete realism. If the staff wants the ending to be about reality, I'm going to respect that. Well, you might say, okay, so the ending isn't perfect for Samantha. Maybe she won't have a perfect life. So what? Well, why are we playing the game? The protagonist just spent several hours exploring this house. Why? Because she cares about her family and what happened to them. She wants her family to be safe. Thus, that's why I'm playing the game, why I'm exploring the house, because I want her family to be safe, presumably. That ending basically says, hey, all that time you spent trying to find out if your family's safe? Well, they're not. The end. Now, this would be really easy to solve. Give Lonnie, the girlfriend, an accepting home, whether with her parents or elsewhere with someone else. Tell us that Samantha, the sister, has left home to move in with Lonnie somewhere reasonably stable. This does not give her a perfectly happy ending, and that's not what I'm asking for. She's still leaving home, and her new home isn't necessarily ideal. But it tells us that she's relatively safe, meaning that everything we've done up to this point was actually worthwhile.